thanks to everybody that was able to take time out of their day and join this webinar. Um, today's topic is a very popular one in the industry right now, and I hope to shed some light on how to easily validate your quality management system, learning management system, and manufacturing execution system. First off, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Edward Malik Ismail, and I'm a validation and system selection consultant here at CSALS. Prior to my time consulting at CSALS, I was heavily involved in consumer product manufacturing, ranging from foods to pharmaceuticals. In that space, I've held multiple roles within the production and quality control teams and gained extensive real-time knowledge of operating QMS, LMS, and MES applications. Now I'm fortunate enough to work with numerous clients from all types of industries, and I'm passionate about helping our customers successfully complete an implementation project and provide the expertise along the way. This will be our agenda for today's webinar. I will give a brief introduction to QMS, LMS, and MES. I will go over the importance of a successful validation. I will give you techniques that you can use to make your validation efficient and accurate. I will go over the best practices for validation and also shed some light on common challenges. Finally, we will explore a case study for each system and see how we can ap apply the knowledge we learned from this webinar to guide our validation efforts. The first system we will talk about is Quality Management System, or QMS. A uh, QMS provides the framework for managing and continually improving quality in all aspects of the organization. This can include design, development, production, delivery, and also customer service. So what exactly is a QMS? Well, let's go over some of the basic um, functional modules. First, we have doc control. Doc control is used to manage the creation, the review, um, approval and distribution, and also the revision of all documents related to quality management. Next, we have change control. This module is used to manage the change of any process, procedure, and also documentation related to quality management. Next here, we have CAPA, or Corrective and Preventive Action Module. This one will be primarily used to identify, to investigate, and resolve um, issues related to quality, and also used to prevent future occurrences. Risk Management Module is used to identify and assess risks associated to a process or a product, and also develop a risk reduction plan. Supplier management module. This is primarily used to evaluate and manage your suppliers, ensuring that they meet your quality requirements. Training management module. This one will be used to manage all the training activities related to quality management and ensure your employees are effectively trained on their inside tasks. An audits module. This can be used to conduct internal or external audits, ultimately um, ensuring that you are compliant with regulations and standards for your industry. A deviations module, this will be used to manage any incidents related to quality. Um, this can include deviations, complaints, or also product recalls. A data management module, this will be used to manage the data related to quality, this can include data analysis, trending, and reporting. And then finally, we have a quality metrics. So this will be used to define and monitor the performance indicators to assess how effective your QMS is working. Our next application is a learning management system, or LMS. Um, this system streamlines employee training. It can maintain records for audits and ultimately ensures that the staff members are well informed um, and qualified to perform the work in a regulated environment. Some of the basic functional modules of LMS are user management. Um, this will be used to create and manage any user profile. This will be used to assign roles to the users or permissions, 
and also track the user progress. Course management, this can be used to create, organize, and, and also deliver any training courses. Content authoring, this module basically empowers the trainers to create and upload training materials in the forms of e-learning modules, videos, documents, etc. A knowledge check module, this will be used to facilitate the creation and the management of assessments, quizzes, and exams. Certification module, this will enable you to assign certifications to your employees based on completed training courses and ensure that your employees are remaining compliant with regulatory requirements. Reporting and analytics. This module will be used to provide insights into learner progress, to give you the completion rates of the trainings, the assessment results of the employees, um, and also a compliance status. Auditing and documentation. This module will be used to ensure all training activities are well documented, ensuring you are audit ready. It can track the user actions, the course histories, and any system changes for regulatory compliance. Onboarding and orientation. This one will provide access to essential training materials, any policies of your uh, company, any compliance requirements for new hire training. CPD module or continuous professional development. This one will be used to track and manage ongoing educational and skill development, which can be essential for career development of your employees. Finally, we have a manufacturing execution system or MES. An MES is basically a software-based solution that monitors and controls any production activity in a production environment. Some of the basic functional modules of MES are, we have data collection and acquisition. Um, this module collects and stores data from various sources. It can be from machines or sensors or operators or even integrations with other systems. This module basically provides the foundation for all the other modules. Another module is scheduling. So this is exactly how it sounds. This one's used to plan, schedule, execute any production orders um, based on availability of resources such as materials, equipment, etc. Staff and resource management. This module will manage the utilization of manpower and material inventory on the production floor. A process management module is used to guide the operators through each step of production process, ensuring they are following standard operating procedures and ensure, also ensuring compliance with quality and regulatory requirements. Performance analysis module. This one is used to analyze the data collected from the production process and it's used to generate reports, dashboards, um, key performance indicators to basically to measure and improve the efficiency, the productivity, and ultimately the profitability of the production floor. And then finally, we have a document management module. This one will be used to create, store, um, distribute any documents related to production, such as um, batch records, electronic batch records, um, audit trails, it can produce certificate of analysis, labels, and even invoices. So now let's jump in and highlight the importance and the mandatory obligation your industry may have to validate your system and to ensure you are fulfilling the regulatory requirements.